Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Raleigh back with another Dash video. And today, we are going to make $200. So it is now 1.03 p.m. and yeah, I started late today, but if I start late, I have to end late, damn. So I got my first order. For those who ask, uh, do you accept all? This is the answer. No. You see my percentage? It's 71%. Now it's like 70. Chick fil A. It matches my outfit. Okay, guys. So uh, I paused my dash. I'm going to end my dash. $20 in one hour Let me explain I'm pausing it. I'm ending it because my auntie called me and said let's go to the lake. So Let's do that. Let's go to the lake So today's vlog is a little bit different babe uh, Go down here. So anyways, I ran out of gas. I'm here at Lake Berryessa and I'm going to teach you guys how to maximize your gains from DoorDash while vacating or taking a break. No. Tip number one, don't accept orders under $6. Like all those one through $5 order, if they're not close enough, if they're not in a range of one mile, do not accept them, decline. Like my acceptance rate is, acceptance rate is at like under 70 right now. Tip number two, so you know when you guys get stacked orders, accept it if it's over $5. If it's $2, don't accept it because you're wasting time. So when you accept stacked orders, your first customer is waiting for his or her food and you don't want that. That gives you a bad rating. When you have peak times, that's when you want to dash. When you have a red busy around your city, be sure to dash during that time. Like the other day, uh, during Mother's Day, I had a plus $4 peak time. I made easy $30 per hour. Also, when you're dashing and you're getting tired, don't dash. You're being a risk to everyone around you. It's really good to take breaks at times. Like right now, I was supposed to dash. I felt I was tired, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to relax. So here I am in Lake Berryessa, California, going to relax with my family. Look at this pretty chilly but hey relaxing is relaxing right taking a break is good anyways we out here with the fam mm. eat pizza what is my brother doing <laughs> what is he doing Refreshing. Feels like I've been revived. Feel like I've been baptized. You know what I'm saying? Feel like you need to dunk your head. Baptized. You better jump in this hole. Ready? Okay, guys. So now we're going home, but I have no gas. Well, my car says we have no gas. I got maybe 17 more miles before the car stops totally. Like if you guys want to like continue door dashing, make sure your car is gassed up. Because if not, you're gonna end up being like me. Yo guys, we made it at Chevron's. We drove 20 miles when the car already indicated that we had zero miles. But you know, that extra gallon down in the car was like, yes, we shall push and get the gas. So here we are, and we're gonna get gas now. 
Yo guys, it's now 7.32 p.m. and guess what? I just got home or actually got back in the city and guess what I did? I turned on DoorDash because I need to make at least $100 today. Since we lost so much time because of that small vacation, it's time to get back on the grind and make that money. You know, we're out here with the Chinese food. $10. So yeah, guys, uh, my goal is $80 because I made $20 from this morning or early, early this afternoon and I just need $60 more dollars. Update guys, it is now 1026 and I still haven't gotten an order. So you know what that means. At $58.29, I am now going to end my dash. Okay, right there guys, I ended my dash. Um, I'm now at $58.29 plus $20. That's $78 in for today. All right guys, so that is $78 for today and I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, comment down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow, right? I'll see you guys tomorrow and that is it.